has to buy one. Oh, a little bit late on his timing, but it looks like he's going to move around for the six-minute rune. Tinker not interested in that top rune. He does have a ward. Oh, he looks like he's going to walk oh, he's right dead. into he's it. Dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, they split oh. up a little bit. Frenzy back, but he should still get this. Oh, and man. And they have no magic damage, so... Also, he's going to turn around on... Uh, oh! MJW TPing around in the back. Abaddon gets amped up and will fall to Visa. BSJ forced to hide into a creep, but this thing is not quite in deny range. MJW thinking about what he wants to do about that creep, and it looks like it would just amp and run away at the end of the day. That's, that's pretty good game sense out of the Tinker player, but uh, looks like he is actually just going to be running into another game. And do they have enough? Ooh, yeah, Winter Wyvern flying Zebra there in the right place at the right time. Slayer at half HP. MJW desperately trying to kill him. And the Trance will finish him off. Visa coming in from the back with his arm leg gets a stun on a bat, and it looks like it will be the retreat call. Hey, FDL, they have. Yeah, they have control of their jungle. Oh, oh, here we go. See a fight here. Oh, Visa misses the crush, but doesn't matter. Tinker gets roared. And we do see a Winner's Curse out on the Beastmaster. But he is not going to die with that. Nice mech by MJW to end up saving him. Well, coming in from enemy GG from the Roche pit, trying to wrap around. There are only two heroes here. Can Bisa blink out in time? Looks like there will be at least one casualty here. Oh, there's going to be two. There's going to be two. That was a, actually a really good play by the Winter Wyvern. Oh, actually, they are thinking about turning around. And we see a Roar who will actually push away two of the heroes. And there will be two, and just not the two that we thought. Well, in the end, that was not as bad. They they traded two heroes that were going to die already. CCNC trying to burst down BSJ, who already has his relic. Halfway to his Radiance. CCNC gets glimpsed back. He does have a DD, though no one wants to stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. With CCNC, Sentry drop down. Meld will be useless here. MJW kind of caught out on his lonesome, being chased down. But here comes Bisa with the armlet. Cold Embrace saves BSJ. Very nice Winter's Curse coming out, followed by a Static Storm. BSJ will be cleaning up. Will the armor toggle be enough? No. BSJ will survive and take down Bisa in the process. A glimpse a second time will lead to MJW's Oh, he gets demise. out. No, he gets out. Yo, casting's hard, man. Casting's very hard. You're doing great, Charlie. I oh tried. man, this this ancient black dragon got owned. He will have the double infest, but he has gotten everyone down to half HP. Can Sovereign save him at the end of the day? There is no shield to stop the Fiend's Grip, and Banana Slam Jamma will fall to the hands of Franz. C, C, and C, two shots to disrupt. There looks like it might be a chain feed here. Bisa slightly slow on the crush, and he will get Winter's Curse down. Not able to armlet toggle through that. Sovereign, no ulti, and will get smashed by the TA. Well, they have scanned. They will see BSJ running around. All right, he is up in go. front. Uh, Abaddon's position is way too good. Yeah, they don't want to go on him because they don't know what's behind him. And uh, the team fight going on. Flying Zebra gets taken out immediately. We've got a Winner's Curse on MJW, but looks like he will live through it. And uh, CNC and C and Bisa chasing all throughout the base, but looks like so far Flying Zebra is going to be the only casualty as he does die back here. Oh, and the Disruptor gets taken out. Now he needs so many items this game and he's already behind. Alright, I guess. So CNC C and C gets caught out. Looks like he's just going to accept his fate, but he does have the Aegis. Team fight going on. Roar on to Flying Zebra. He gets taken out by that really big TA. BSJ going on MJW, but he's surrounded by four heroes. And he will be taken down. Sovereign left by himself. And he goes down as well. Now they're just cleaning up. Amp damage, plus meld, plus Dezo. Makes quick work of any dire hero. And things are looking very grim for enemy GG. Yeah. <laughs> What, oh. they're already set up? Oh no, and he gets gripped right here. That's a great prediction by the Bane. <laughs> and 
and uh, Sovereign tries to TP up, but he does get slept up. Fl the wow. Flying Zebra gets taken out in the back. Disruptor got taken out earlier, and this looks like... Even if Tinker the, uh, buys back right now, they can't do anything. No, he can't do anything. It's just the Tinker and the Nakes. And, uh, it's more he might, or less he it. might just die again. If he dies again, it's GG right here. So they have a blink on Beastmaster. Franz looking for that game-ending roar. BSJ will attempt to go on CC and C, but that will be an immediate blink out. Try and split push it out until the next Aegis. Oh, they do get a glimpse back on MJW, but not even scared. Does not bother popping his BKB. Oh, this might be an opportunity here. Oh, nice double crush coming out from Bisa. Flying Zebra does get roared. Where is the defusal? And Slayer gets taken out of the back by CCNC and MJW. Buyback coming out from Winter Wyvern. Tinker down for 60. And, uh... BSJ trying to do his best against four heroes, but uh, he has no Iron Talon. It's not a good sign. Oh, oh, but he does get the kill, and the Aegis does go down. Still CCNC alive and healthy. BKB almost up again. But the rest of the he has to go back to heal, and that is a range rax taken out. Oh, they've got a roar on BSJ. But uh, looks like he's going to be okay as he just TPs out. But Sovereign, however, I think he's dead. Oh, he can bleak. No. Oh, no, he does. But, uh, all right, he's actually going to live. Managed to get back in time. BSJ gets back in, though. He's, he's not fine. As the rest of his team gets zoned out by the Slardar. Oh, nice, great way to dodge that crush. And that Winter's Curse barely does anything to Bisa. He will get Glimmer caped up. We see a buyback coming out from a bad and Slayer trying to chase him down, but kind of thinking twice about blinking up that cliff. Bisa turns around on Slayer, pops his armlet, but the laser will be too much. Franz tries to BKB He's and take BKBs him down. He just and runs in. <laughs> CCNC left one-on-one -on -one with Sovereign, but his ulti has already cooled down. BSJ coming in from the back. CC and C could be in a little bit of trouble here. Tinker chasing around from the back. Maybe he can ch chase him with the Blink Shivas. And they do not have detection. But they do have Manta. But they do have Radiance as well. He's he's just stuck there. Yep. Refraction not going to do you any good versus the March. Slayer is out of mana though. BKB. He's just going to try and Blink out here. Oh, oh. What, a, what a cheeky little Blink. Except Sovereign has Blink too. They might not know that he's there anymore. They can pop a sentry ward inside there. Yeah, but yeah. he's inside the trees. Sentry ward gives vision for a little bit. Ten if seconds. If they know that he's there, but it doesn't look like he do they do. Uh, oh. Sovereign. They need a BOT2. Tinker's going to have to TP in, but he's a couple of waves away. CCNC will pick up an invisibility rune. Sentry ward plopped oh, down by Sovereign. Him. And that is a big kill. 2,200 gold. Going to a bad and Stan King might join in the chain feed. Second sentry drop down. Stan King getting glimmer cape. It will expire. It is never too late for the throws. Never too never late. Never too late for the throws. Easy T1. That's like 5,000 gold going for enemy GG. If, if you look at the net worth chart, so we see the NP and the life sealer pretty much neck and neck. He already has a BKB. Oh, you need refresher. That's what he needs. Oh. Yeah, he really should get a refresh. BSJ oh. gets roared up. He is raged, though. He is out in no man's land. However, he does have the Aegis. How long can he survive until his team comes in? See a BOT2 onto Sovereign. He will cancel it in the meantime. MJW trying to take down BSJ. Ulti not popped yet. BSJ under the protection of the Abaddon ult will go crushing the Bane. But you're really seeing that the effect of that spell. In these fights now. And what do you know? Enemy GG taking a Rax of their own. Melee Rax will be slain by BSJ. Tinker trying to, or TA trying to toy around with him. BSJ thinking twice about TPing out. CCNC gets sheeped up. Is there any save for him? Glimmer Cape into BKB. Franz out in the back line. Bean will slay the Disruptor. Franz getting sheeped up for a second time. BSJ is gripped down in the middle of nowhere. Can Sovereign save him? BSJ getting taken down very quickly by this backline Slayer will manage to TP out in time. Sovereign looks like the gem will be lost or will it not? We see a Sprout will get vision of him, but the blink 
Bash the is not in time. I'll see a BOT2 onto Sovereign. BSJ immediately oh. in a fight. CSE gets bashed up. What a sick force that, but he will get sheeped up immediately after. FDL forced to turn tail and run. Will sacrifice the Bane Elemental. Wow. Looks like FDL wants to do something here with that Nature's Prophet TPM, but they don't realize there I are mean, a lot of heroes They have BOT2s there. coming in. We see a Winter's Curse locking down Bisa until the Cavalry arrives. Tinker will hex him up immediately after. And they lack physical damage, but it looks like he is coming in in the process. Permahex will be enough to slay another member of FDL. Crucial team fights. I, I think you mean whoever this crucial one with the next Roshan spawning in 40 seconds? Yes. It's going to be the team that wins two fights in a row. BSJ gets gripped up. And where is everyone? Okay. Yeah. And Cold Embrace. And he does have an Abyssal Blade, will hop into the Dragon. The Dragon buys enough time for Sovereign to come in, and he will start popping his cooldowns onto BSJ. Borrow time coming down, Bronze getting owned right here. All their BKBs are almost down in the process, and now they have to turn tail and run Slayers. Blink Scythe is going to be king. They have stopped Slaughter's Blink. Can they stop it a second time? They have the Glimpse back into the immediate Hex, and... That will be the crucial fight around the Roche. At this point, you just want to kite the Life Stealer because he's doing too much. Well, right. we see an Infest Bomb coming in. Sovereign with this Blink will be coming out. He does have a Vanguard plus a Basher into the Abyssal at this point. BSJ does get gripped up. And that was a glimpse to stop it. Slayer is e beating himself. And we see a huge Winter's Curse coming out. That's the right spell. <laughs> <laughs> and CCNC gets shaped up immediately after. Looks like things are going disastrously for Team FDL. Bisa gets Perma Hex. And that is three for zero. Okay, CCNC does buy it back. I think they save out for the MP buyback. They have to hope enemy makes a mistake or something, and they, they get those pick off some crucial. I heroes. think it requires just like. They, they have to get like sick coordination. Like a. You need a, like a Bloodthorn on the. Winter Wyvern, Wyvern, Wyvern like we haven't yeah. really seen too much coordination with the double disables because they each have fail safe to save each other but if two of them get disabled at the same time then you can't really do that much well melee racks being beaten down by BSJ he does get amped up but all his team are sitting about one screen away just waiting for BSJ to be initiated on without getting jumped on themselves Franz goes in, in the back roars up flying zebra he will fall all right this is a good start so far they do take out the winter wyvern MJW pops his uh, BKB and Bisa looks like a three shots to disrupt their sovereign shortly to fall after. His ultimate is down in the process. Slayer will perma hex. It will see CNC die. He does not have buyback. Bisa getting slain by BSJ in the front line, protected by Lotus Orb. And that will be another death. No buyback on Slardar. And it is never too late for throws. FDL calls the GG. 59 minutes on the game time. Enemy take this in a spectacular fashion. Comeback, man. Wow. I did not see that one coming. I, I didn't see that coming. FDL was 30.